we're going to take a look at the Eagle Tac. This is the T20 C2 Mark II. And this is a great LED flashlight. It uses the Cree XML T6. 720 lumens. Just a brilliant amount of light for this small package. And uh, one of the things about this light in particular uh, is that it has so many accessories. So we're going to take a look at all the different types of accessories. Now, if you'll notice, this is Cerakoted. And this is a custom job done through um, GoingGear.com. There's just a few of these that they're pr producing right now uh, in different colors. So this is more of a custom Eagle Tack. It is done factory. Uh, Cerakote's a really great spray-on finish. And it is highly durable. And it really makes a nice coat for those who like uh, kind of a dark earth like this one is. I think they do a sand. Also a... Um, a sniper steel, which is a sniper gray, and then they do an orange. So we're going to take a look at this little Eagle Tac T20 C2, and uh, I think you're going to find this is a really incredible light, especially considering all the accessories. Now, of course, it comes in a box, nice box with instructions, a lot of different features in here, and then a warranty card. These are uh, lifetime warranty, so uh, against defects or anything. So it's really uh, just a great flashlight. They stand behind their products. Now these do run on two uh, CR123s, the lithium type batteries, but it also, in fact, and that's what's in this one, is the uh, the 18650, and it is a rechargeable battery, which I really like. And uh, that's one of the things about this is versatile, and you do have a sleeve that you can put your 123s in here to keep them stable, or just one um, 18650. Now, there are a number of different modes with this flashlight, and the first is 720 lumens, which is the turbo mode. And it will stay in 720 lumens for three minutes, and then will drop down into 500 lumens. So that gives you a, it saves the energy. If you want to reset it to the 720 lumens, or, you, or they call it turbo boost, you just punch it again and it'll bring it right back up to the turbo boost mode. Now the way to get to your other settings is you're going to hit turbo with the, with the punch of the press pad. And of course there's momentary and then there is the click which puts it into the mode itself. Now twist the head and you get a lesser lumen. Bring it back and twist it again and you get even a lesser. So it gets really low. Then you go into strobe. You go into beacon and then you go into SOS. It's two for the first one and then it'll do S O S. <laughs> and then twist the head back, you're back into turbo mode. Now just looking over the body of the flashlight itself, of course it's made from an aircraft grade aluminum so it's fairly lightweight. It does have a stainless steel removable bezel on the front. And uh, of course that's been Cerakoted but you can see through the threads uh, the Cree XML T6 bulb right here, and the reflector is brilliant. And you can see it's, it's a smooth reflector. You can get different reflectors and bulbs to fit this flashlight. In fact, this flashlight is one of the few that you can break totally down and remove all the internal workings and just have the uh, aluminum body left over. There are so many different features. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew a couple of these things. Uh, of course, we have the battery you can remove the battery actually from the front as well and here we have the uh, bulb mechanism here of course I've already shown the uh, the bezel that can be removed you can remove this is the glass lens which the glass lens is a uh, it's a syntax AR coated so it's really a, a very high quality uh, state-of-the-art lens of course, here's the reflector. I'm not going to remove the reflector just because I don't want to get my hands on the lens itself on the reflector because it does mar, it leaves grease, but uh, it does break down even more than this. And here you can see it's just the body is just separate now. You can also, this ring lifts up to remove your clip. It will come all the way off. There is a gasket that rolls around here, but of course your clip is removable. Here you have your cigar band, tactical uh, holder that also keeps it from rolling and we're going to take a look at that in a minute with the accessories this can be removed as well but as you can see we can break this down into quite a few components uh, which is 
not normal for most of these type flashlights. This ring also can be removed right here. It's just snapped in with a little sharp object. You can pull this off. Then it has your push pad. Okay, some of the accessories, of course, it comes with a nice little pouch and um, Velcro. Also has your Velcro here. This is pretty typical for most flashlight holsters. It's pretty decent uh, Velcro here. And then, of course, you've got a little D-ring here to put on the lanyard or different things like that. It is a, an elastic here, so it fits in nicely. Then there is a lanyard as well. Uh, it clips right here onto this little piece. Of course, if you don't use a lanyard, uh, you can remove this ring itself. It's a nice little lanyard. It is adjustable as well. So you can adjust it to your arm, especially if you're in a dark situation where it's raining and wet and you don't want to lose your light. Now, of course, the cigar band here is a tactical for bringing here, and then you can push your light if needed. But if you don't like that and you want to bring it down lower, you can replace it with this rubber gasket that will just replace the area that the cigar band is in. Now, there is this ring that actually stands the flashlight up. Uh, all you need to do is, is pull off the uh, lanyard uh, clip here, and then you can just stretch this over the end, and it'll give a rubberized end where you can set your flashlight straight up, and it allows it to be on a flat surface. Now, one really cool feature, and, and at first when I looked at this, I didn't know what it was, but this is a, a tail switch replacement, but this is a glow-in-the-dark which is incredible. So uh, I don't think these guys have overlooked anything. Of course, you've got your basic replacement O-rings, which is great. And then we have, which I really like, is the diffuser. And that's what this lens is. And it just replaces the bezel. And what this does, it gives you a very even light. Without a spotlight, it more floods the area. And I was using this last night, and it was really brilliant now it won't throw as far but it definitely gives you a very wide area of light in your general area so uh, this diffuser is really a nice accessory and it just twists on and off it's your whatever your needs are as you can see it's kind of opaque so it the light passes through but it kind of spreads it out makes it very even okay here you see the light this is in full beam you hear the train in the distance <laughs> Here you see the a nice good spotlight, but it does flood well. It has a nice flood to it. Now here it is with the diffuser, and as you can see, it is a really nice even uh, flood, and there's no spotlight necessarily. It just has a nice good flood, even in the woods, out toward the trees. Now one thing about having without the diffuser is you're going to get a lot of distance your throw is going to be a lot greater. So if I really want to pinpoint something way down uh, without the diffuser is actually going to be a little bit better. The runtime on these with a, a fully charged battery in turbo mode uh, then with the drop down after three minutes to 500 lumens is 1.2 hours and then you go to 10 hours in the next setting and then down to 100 hours in the lowest setting. Of course, this Eagle Tac T20C2 Mark II is available at GoingGear.com. Uh, this custom finish, though, is a limited run. So if you're really wanting to get something like this, uh, you probably want to order it sooner than later. They run $89.99, and of course, you get a 10% discount using suits and the coupon code, which makes it really nice. Now, this is the way the flashlight would come typically uh, if you just ordered it. In, in the normal mode, it comes with a hard anodized finished with Eagle Tac on the side and the model number on the other side. So if you really like more of a tactical uh, Cerakote finish, which I, in fact, I picked this one out particularly just because I really like the dark earth. This is it makes also a great weapons light. And if you, uh, there are accessories to be able to put, um, you know, a touch a press pad to put on your rifle, and also you can put this with standard rings with different attachments. In fact, you can get a lot of that at Going Gear as well. This is shockproof, and uh, you know you will be able to use it in a tactical type environment on a firearm. It is also IPX-8 rated for waterproof, and that gives you a standard meter of uh, protection underwater. It's not dive rated, but it is uh, rated for a, a meter, and which in most situations is gonna be all you need. The Eagle Tac T20, C2 Mark II is an incredible, very versatile flashlight, uh, whether it's for
personal security or even duty light, this makes a really great light, a lot of light for such a small package. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Today we're taking a look at the Eagle Tack, and this is the T2. I don't know if you smoke a cigar. Look at this big old bright light in your face. I can't even see the end of it. <laughs>